It looks really like paradise here. It's just full of people, full of activity. Oh, it's a different world here. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin! world welcome back to the channel it's day number 73 on our around the world trip so we're here at a camping place in the town of Bujdor, camping right next to the ocean we can hear it on the other side of this wall just behind us we had a really nice sleep here because we had the nice sea breeze coming through our tent because we slept without the cover tonight and that was really really nice and refreshing we had like our sleeping bags to cuddle up with that was really cool so let me show you guys where we're headed today Okay, so we are here in Bouchdor and we are going to be continuing our way south on the Route Nationale 1 and we will go as far as we can go towards Dakhla. So the first place that we're going to be checking out uh, is going to be a wild camper uh, on the beach and that's about halfway from here to Dakhla. So we'll see how the place is and we'll see how we're feeling there. Otherwise, we can push on further and try and make our way even closer to Dakhla. So we'll see how we get on. So it's 112 miles to the first camp we will check out. It's already 11.30, so better hit the road. Let's go. Ready to hit the road. <laughs> yes, ready. Let's go. Time for lunch soon, hey? <laughs> 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 Look, there's the ocean front just over there. On our way! So we just left Bouchdor. Uh, we just filled up on fuel, we bought some bread, we got some water, we got a couple of Red Bulls for the road. <laughs> and now we are back out into the desert road. Yeah, and it's a really pleasant day. It looks like that the sky opened up a little bit. It looks a little bit lighter than yesterday, not so dusty. The ocean is right next to us with a beautiful color. It's very nice, like this turquoise blue is so cool. Yeah, hopefully it's gonna be less of a crazy ride like than yesterday. Yeah, let's pray for less wind. Yeah because it can be pretty unforgiving here on the coast. Yeah. Oh, look. Ah. First, first you have the police control out of town and now you've got the camel control. <laughs> Do you have your passport ready? Yeah, passports, duan vehicle documents. There you go, guys. Hi, guys. It's okay? It's okay. Let us pass. Thank you, guys. Okay, see you later. Yeah, merci, bon see voyage. <laughs> I think I heard one of them saying bon voyage. Bon voyage. <laughs> Sometimes the signs are pretty accurate. <laughs> So we stopped for a little lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep my helmet on actually <laughs> because it's so windy. I would just take it off quickly to eat, but otherwise. So we try to hide here a little bit 
behind Bumblebee. Oh no, I just dropped all the cream cheese. We've got Missimmon bread and I love this bread. Look, look, look. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we've got that. We've got our Red Bulls. It's a beautiful lunch hiding behind the bike. It's beautiful. Bon appetit. <laughs> All right, our Missummon cheese lunch is over. And now it's time to make our way back to the main road. Although I can't remember which, which way I went. So I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> Let's see which way to go. Yeah, some parts of this ground are a little bit soft. Hmm. Which way was it? This way? Yeah, I think to the, to the uh, left here. But yeah, I can tell you it is windy as hell. So it's not very easy to stop on the side of the road. As soon as you uh, stand up and you want to walk around or look around, it's like, it's like just a fan it's in your face. Yeah, sand in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, around here, there we go. The highway of dreams. Nice. nice, there we go. Smooth as hell. Yeah, very nice and smooth. So it's 2.30 at the moment, 26 degrees. And we have 55 miles left to the beach camp where we try to pitch our tent. But anyway, we have to go there, check it out. Maybe it's as windy and yeah, we have to see. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get up to 60 miles an hour and then set up my cruise control. There we go. Uh, 60. And that's it. Yesterday I was sort of going faster, slower, faster, slower. Today we decided let's just set it at 60 the whole time and just take it nice and easy cruising down the highway. Oh, there's some camels. There's some more camels. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, cruising for the next hour. Let's go. right here to go down to the camp yep down here and it's a tarmac road as well I hope it won't be that windy down there <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we're kind of going right into the wind now yes whereas on the highway it was kind of going with us now we're just being smashed by it and you can really feel how strong the wind is oh my god but the landscape here is super nice though yeah it looks spectacular yeah so much more going on around yeah so it looks like this road is 
kind of heading down to the coast here and just about see the ocean oh yes that's nice yeah wow nice look yeah we're not going to be up on the cliff it looks like we're heading down to the ocean wow look at that yeah that's, that's a nice a, spot there's a nice area here Oh, look at these crumbling cliffs as yes. well. <laughs> Whoa. Right down to the beach. Wow. That's cool. That is cool. According to the GPS, uh -huh. the camping should be just up ahead. Okay. Let's maybe just ask. Look at this boat. So pretty much this road just goes down to the beach and then stops. Yes. yes. Wow. Whoa, nice! <laughs> Salam! Salam! <laughs> wow, that's really cool. Hello! Okay, we're going to go back to the Gendarmerie post just up ahead and we're going to ask them if it's alright to camp somewhere around here. Okay, so that plan did not work out very well. Um, pretty much asked at the Gendarmerie post and he told us camping inter the military zone um, so yeah they really went into us staying there and just told us no and they said we said okay what about any place south and they said oh Dakhla so basically they said go to Dakhla <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, seems to be the only option they've given us so I've rooted to a place uh, a camping in Dakhla but it's 107 miles <laughs> there's 107 miles to get over there to Dakhla but that was a really beautiful bay at least at least to come and stop and have a look yes anyway we're going to go back to the route national one and uh, keep driving south I guess okay so we just turned off the Route Nationale and we are just about to start heading down the spit towards Dakhla. Looking on the map it looks like this road is heading across to the spit and then it's about 20 miles down to Dakhla but it looks like such a thin bit of land that's coming out it looks super interesting on the map so I can't wait to see it. It's now um, nearly seven o'clock so we started quite late because we weren't actually expecting to do a crazy long day. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, look at this. This is a crazy place. That looks really cool. Yeah. But I am pretty tired now, um, especially after the long day yesterday. And then didn't expect to do such a long day today, but we've ended up doing, well, we're just coming up to 200 miles for the day. But it's all right. I'm getting to the end now. But I think we're going to sleep pretty good tonight. <laughs> oh, sand oh, on the road. Yeah, got some dunes encroaching. Whoa, look at this in front. Wow. That's crazy. It's like a big sort of estuary inlet. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy windy here. Yeah, it's always when we're heading west that we get this massive crosswind. Yeah. Well, we have hit the Dakhla spit and you can see that this is the start of the inland bit of the sea and this actually stretches for another 16 miles down here and basically, I don't know if you can see on the map here, but we're on this little bit of land which is sticking all the way out for 16 miles. Yeah, but it looks so cool because this is like the kite surf paradise here. Here are probably like about 20 kites out there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Everyone is having fun. Yeah, it looks really cool. It looks like a really cool place for kite surfing. Yeah, yeah, because they've got all the wind coming up and over. Yes, yes. And I think it's very flat as well. So it's perfect for, for learning, training. Yeah, wow, that's cool. It looks really like paradise here. Yeah, it's like we were in the middle of the desert and then suddenly we come up and over and around the corner and suddenly we're just like 
it's just full of people, full of activity, people walking on the beach, people just, yeah. Oh, it's a different world here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like there's a police control at the start of the spit, so we'll just turn the cameras off for a second. All is well with the police control. Just gave them our temporary import permit, passports, no worries on your way. So we're now heading further down into the spit and uh, we've got seven and a half miles until we reach the place that we're gonna try and free camp. But this road heading down the spit is super busy. There's a lot of people trying to get down to Dakla, I can tell you that. Yeah, I think it's a very popular place here. Yeah, definitely. Very busy and popular place. Yeah, I mean, it's like the only thing here in this area for such a massive range. I mean, there's nothing around for hundreds of miles. Yeah. Yeah, this is the hot spot right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've come off the main road now and uh, we're heading down to the area where we're supposed to be camping or gonna try and camp. It's like one mile down this little road, but there's a lot of development going on. This place was added quite a few years ago, so for all we know, it might be that people have developed the area by now. It looks like here in Dakla, there's a lot of development going on. They're really trying to push this tourism thing. A lot of apartments and hotels and all kinds of stuff coming up. I mean, look, it's just a giant construction site here, basically. Yeah, super crazy. Oh, look, yeah, totally oh, blocked shit. off. It looks like they're trying to build something along the seafront here. Or maybe down there. I mean, look at the place. It's a giant construction site. Yeah. I think that whatever was here before is not here anymore. Okay, so the free camp looks like it's all under development, that area, and I really, I don't think we'll be able to free camp there. So we've seen on iOverlander there's another place which is a paid camp and it should be just up ahead. So we'll carry on to there and then uh, we'll go and check that place out, see if that's all right. Shall I ask these guys? Yeah. Okay. Salam. Salam. C'est le camping ici, Tarvata. Okay, merci. Shukran, shukran. Shukran. <laughs> okay, so where this wall is? I think so. Okay, let's check it out. Where's the entrance? I don't know. Maybe on this side? Oh yeah, look, boutique oh. camping. Tawata camping. Okay. Tawata camping, okay. okay. See. <laughs> yeah, let's go and ask. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, okay, merci. So this one is 10 euro for the night. And they're just going to show us where to go now. Uh, just got to give the passport. Do the business. It looks like it's also a ranch. Whee! Right, okay, merci. Thank you. Shukran, thank you, thank you very much. There we go. It's the place. Well, you know, I, lo I love free camps, but I don't want to drive around. I don't want to ride around any anymore. I think it's time for us to set up and get chilled. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's uh, quarter past eight already, so I think it's time for it to finish. <laughs> Let's set up camp. Good evening, guys. <laughs> we made it. Happy and alive. <laughs> yeah, just before dark as well. Uh, time kept going on and on and. We were looking around for a place, we were looking around for a wild camp. So it's a hundred dirham for uh, tonight and just to pitch up the tent, so... Everything's pitched up here as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Bumblebee, the tent. There's some horses over there. Yeah. Which is quite cool. 
so that's all right in the end we didn't have much of a choice of where we could stay we looked around there's not much possibilities so you know 10 euro a night it is for the tent it's okay it's okay so we did about 211 miles, which is 340 kilometers. A very, very long day. Yeah, apart from yesterday, that was the longest day that we've done. So that's like two incredibly long days in a row. Yes. <laughs> wow, mm -hmm. it's a lot of road. It's a lot of road, it's a lot of wind, and it's a lot of sand. <laughs> but <laughs> it's a lot of nice road as well. <laughs> So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family. Please, please, please um, comment below. We will see you next time.